Guys, grab the cows, grab the horses, grab the barn. For the first time ever, I am trying Texas Roadhouse. Look at all this food, guys. It is one of the only restaurant chains that I've never had in my life. Like, not one bite of it. And I got a lot of the menu. Not the whole menu, because the menu is quite large. But I got some appetizers, some entrees, some desserts, some sides. I'm gonna taste test all of it, give you my honest opinion, rate everything from one to 10, and let you know if Texas Roadhouse is worth going to, at least in my opinion. Let's talk about the items I got, guys. It's a lot, so prepare yourself. <laughs> I got a cactus blossom, <laughs> which is basically like a blooming onion from um, Outback Steakhouse. It's like a big fried onion, I think. I got boneless buffalo wings, fried pickles, rattlesnake bites. Have no clue what that is. Is it made out of rattlesnake? I don't know, I'm scared. This is too straight for me. This is not my brand. I got half a slab of ribs, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes with cream gravy, oh yes, country fried chicken, a house salad, seasoned rice, a pulled pork sandwich, steak fries, Granny's apple classic, which is like a dessert, obviously, Big ol' brownie, it's called a big ol' brownie. <laughs> and strawberry cheesecake, okay. I am so ready, but first guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests and sit down restaurant taste tests. It's a great time here, so subscribe. Also, the other day I made the most delicious tostadas I've ever had. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Um, I'm about to make these delicious, Tostadas Supremo with pork. So if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, basically it's a meal kit delivery service where you choose your meals online or on the app and they send you all the ingredients and all the recipes straight to your door and then you cook them up and you eat them and they're easy and delicious. And when I say delicious, I mean it guys. Like I've been eating HelloFresh for years and I still have yet to taste a bad meal. Every meal has been so good. They have a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes plus over 70 convenience items all delivered straight to your door. It is a time saver. Literally. Every HelloFresh recipe includes super fresh produce that goes from the farm to your doorstep in under a week, so it's like legit fresh. They also have limited edition kid-friendly baking kits, so you can have so much fun with your whole family and eat delicious sweets. We all love sweets. Hello? HelloFresh offers pescatarian recipes, veggie recipes, and fit and wholesome recipes. A lot of people seem to think that healthy food doesn't taste good, but HelloFresh's fit and wholesome recipes truly have so much flavor, just as much flavor as all the other meals. You can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom, love the name, by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading to choice proteins, or you can even add protein to a veggie meal. So it's all very customizable for what you want. It's up to you, girly, and we love that. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all the packaging is recyclable. The recipes include pre-portioned ingredients, so that means less prep time for you and less wasted food. We don't need more waste. Overall, it helps you eat more sustainably and I think that we could all use a little more of that. So guys, go get some HelloFresh. Of course, I have a code for you. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code TIMMY16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. Go get some HelloFresh. I'm gonna cook right now, I'm so pumped. Okay, so we have some ground pork, some Mexican blend cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, Southwest spice, tortillas, a tomato, a poblano pepper, a lime, an onion, some Tex-Mex paste, and some sour cream. Okay, so first things first, I preheated my oven. I'm gonna wash and dry my produce, and then I'm gonna chop all my produce up. I'm gonna first chop up my poblano into strips. I'm now gonna zest and quarter my lime. I love zesting limes. I just always feel so fancy doing it. Gorgeous. Now let's chop up our tomato just into little dices. Okay, I'm gonna put my tomato into this bowl right here. And now it's time for the tears, the onion. So I'm just gonna dice up half of this onion and the other half I'm just gonna make into nice little like onion strips. 
And I'm gonna put my diced um, onions into my bowl with the tomatoes. I'm gonna add half the lime and some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna toss this together. That is gorgeous. Okay, now let's quickly make the crema. I'm just gonna add my sour cream and some lime zest, some salt, and some lime juice. And there is our crema, yay! Now it's time to cook our tortillas. Some olive oil onto my parchment paper and just lay them on there. And then I'm just gonna kind of get them all coated, flip them over, and I'm gonna pop them into the oven for five minutes. And now it's time to cook the meat and veggies. I'm gonna add some olive oil to a pan. I'm gonna add my ground pork and my Southwest spice. And I'm just gonna let this cook until it's nice and fully browned. I'm now gonna add my peppers and my onions. I'm just gonna cook this until the meat is totally cooked through and the veggies are like nice and soft. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of water and my Tex-Mex paste. Get that mixed in. Okay, our pork mixture is done. It looks amazing, right? It is time to assemble the tostadas. Now, these are my gorgeous tortillas. They're nice and crispy, and I melted some of the cheese directly onto the tostada. I'm gonna add some of this delicious pork mixture right on top. And then I'm gonna add my other cheese, the Monterey Jack cheese, right on top of the meat. I'm gonna add my tomato onion mixture, the crema, and they are done. My tostadas are done, I'm so hungry. Look how good they look, guys. Mmm. Oh my god. The amount of flavor in one bite is ridiculous. 10 out of 10. So good. Guys, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code TIMMY16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. Go get some HelloFresh, guys. It truly is so delicious. Mmm. Okay, let's unbox the food, guys. Oh god. These, these bags are huge. They're just like very long. I mean, Everything's bigger in Texas, allegedly. I don't know. I have not, wait, have I been there? I may have passed through there as a child, like during like a road trip, but I don't think that I've ever been there like when I was like fully alert, like an adult, you know? Okay, so this is the house salad. Okay, very interesting. We have ranch. We have eggs. We love that. Cheese. Um, are the croutons, yes. Uh, cherry tomatoes and lettuce. It looks great, honestly. And then we have, the cheesecake, okay. The, the slice is a little small, but it's doable. The um, desserts were each, I think, seven bucks. Um, and the entrees were each around 11 to $12. Um, the ribs were like 16, just to give you kind of like an idea of um, the prices. The big old brownie, guys, it's big. So the ice cream is with it. It's all melted, but that's fine. That really is a big old brownie. Look at the size next to my head. It's very heavy. Feels dense, we love that. And then we have bread. Ooh, bread guys, bread rolls. Let's just try one right now. Okay. Very airy, almost like a dog toy. Hear that? <laughs> Ooh, okay, very soft. Let's try it. Very good. Okay, my first bite of Texas Roadhouse, I'm impressed. Mmm, very soft, fluffy, nice and sweet. There must be honey in this or something. It's buttery, flaky. It's good, it's a good roll. I think I'm gonna give this a nice nine out of 10 in terms of bread rolls. Very nice, I'm impressed. The mac and cheese, guys. That looks sad. This looks very sad. The sauce seems like separated. It doesn't look baked or anything. It smells like frozen mac and cheese. But never judge a book by its cover. It could be amazing. We don't know yet. We don't know. Then we have some sort of butter, maybe? Looks like a seasoned butter. Maybe for the bread. Oh, that's like a cinnamon butter. I have to try that, guys. It's fluffy. Ooh. Ah! Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Oh my god. 
That cinnamon butter is like sweet and salty at the same time. Super creamy, super fluffy, cinnamony, but not too cinnamony. <laughs> that butter is a 10 out of 10. Very nice. Okay, let's focus and unbox the rest of the food. We have more of the butter. I'm saving this forever. We have some ranch. <gasps> the apple pie thing, wow. This is huge. So uh, once again, the ice cream is melted, but wow, that's a big slice. It's like a quarter of a pie. Very nice. I'm impressed with that. Now this is, I think, the pulled pork sandwich. Okay, wow. So they kept the bun separate. Very nice, nice and toasted, which is very nice because that way um, the bun doesn't get soggy. Here's the pulled pork. That's a big container of it. I'm just gonna like plop it on top. We have some barbecue sauce, I think, and some fries. Very nice, like steak fries. Look at that. Okay, this looks fantastic. Okay, now this guys, this is like the triple appetizer thing that I got. So we have the boneless buffalo wings, the pickles, and the rattlesnake bites. All of it looks great. There's the bites, the pickles. The chicken. I still don't know what those are, but I'm like assuming it's like cheese or something. I'm not sure. I am not gonna Google it either. I'm just gonna eat them and just figure it out. That's gonna be fun. Now this I think is the cactus blossom. So it's like the bloomin' onion. It's like the same thing. It, <laughs> it looks kind of like fried toenails, but that's okay. It's probably gonna taste fantastic. It smells amazing. Just like Outback Steakhouse. And then we have the ribs. Lab. This is a lot of ribs. Like what? That's a whole pig or cow. And then we have the mashed potatoes. Very big side portions. Oh, I was like, what is that milky stuff? That's the creamy gravy on top. It's kind of watery, but hopefully it tastes good. These ribs look just fantastic. And then last but not least, we have the country fried chicken. Looks great. Look at that right there. Very nice. And we have, I think, the gravy to put on it. Ooh, smells very hammy. Interesting, very smoky, and the texture is very watery. So that's, that's a little worrisome. And then we have the seasoned rice. What kind of seasoning is it? Ooh, smells like a rice pilaf, like a chicken, chicken flavor rice maybe. Okay, so that's all the food guys. <laughs> I'm so ready to taste everything but first things first let's get my thumbnail okay got it let's start eating so what should we try first i don't know there's so many things um mac and cheese why not why not you know start with something rich and heavy that's never a bad thing Okay, so let's see how this texture is. Let's mix it. Okay, Ooh, okay. Looks a little better beneath the surface. Oh, sorry. Okay, looks a little less dry. Like that sound? <laughs> let's try it. Mmm! I misjudged it. Mmm. 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 Very creamy. It's good. Mmm. The sauce on the bottom is like, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So, the noodles could be slightly more cooked. They're just a tiny bit too um, tough, just a tiny bit, but the sauce is genuinely fantastic. I can't tell if it's homemade or if it's processed. It tastes like a hybrid between the two, to be honest. Um, it does have a nice sharp, cheesy flavor. Mm. There's a slight mustardiness too, which gives it kind of like a homemade flavor, but the texture feels kind of processed, which is not always like a bad thing. Like I love processed mac and cheese. Um, it's just interesting. I just, I can't tell if it's homemade sauce, but either way, it is delicious. It is flavorful, perfectly salty, very satisfying. 
simple, but very good. Great flavor. I'm giving the mac and cheese, I think, a nice 8.5. Great start. Great start. Okay, next up, let's try the side salad. Let's just do it because, you know, I love salads, but when we have all this other food, let's just kind of get it over with, you know? Of course, it comes with ranch, which has leaked, and that's totally fine because the more ranch, the, the better, right? It's very thick. Wow. Okay. That tastes like restaurant ranch, not store-bought trash. Oh my God, guys, I'm so ready. Here's a nice little close-up of the house salad. Mixed. Let's see. Very ranchy. Like, the ranch sticks to the lettuce, like, thickly. Thick, is that a word? Thickly? In thick amounts. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God, give me a crouton. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, this is such a good salad. <laughs> this is really, really good. Mm. This ate, <laughs> and I did too. <laughs> mm. Napkin. Mm. I'm gagging. That is one of the best house salads I've ever had, ever. All the veggies taste very crisp, which is perfect. The croutons are simple, classic, but the cheese is nice and sharp and it feels like good quality cheese, like legit. Mmm. Mmm. Um, the egg adds a nice heaviness to it, makes it feel more filling. And the ranch, perfectly thick, perfectly seasoned, perfectly fresh. Some of the best ranch I've had. It's so dense and oh my God, it's so good. I'm giving the side salad a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, perfection, okay. So next up, let's try the ribs. Let's go for it. I love ribs. Okay, so. These are them close up. They feel very thick and very heavy, like big ribs. Okay, I'm just gonna take a, take a chunk off here. Let's try it. Oh! They fall off the bum. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Texas Rojas? So far? I'm gagging. Okay, let me pause. Oh my god, it's so good. Those are some of the best ribs I've had from any restaurant ever. So crispy, it's ridiculous. So, Wait, last bite. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, they're so tender on the inside, but the surface is so crispy. The crispiest ribs I've ever had. Like, truly, so crispy, it's insane. Now, the flavor 
it's almost like super crispy bacon, but there's a hint of ketchup, like a sweetness that works so well. And they're very smoky. Overall, it's just some of the best ribs I've ever had from any restaurant. I'm not just saying that. I'm really not just saying that, guys. I have to, <laughs> I wanna eat more, but I have so many things to eat still, I can't. Like, I literally can't. I'm cutting myself off right now. But wow, just actual perfection. I'm giving those a 10 out of 10. Once again, okay, so let's try the Texas Roadhouse mashed potatoes now. They have the creamy gravy on top, but it just looks like milkiness. So, let's see how that looks, close that. Okay, oh my God, those ribs, I can't. <sighs> I want more now. So this has the skins left in it, that's fine with me. More vitamins and minerals. <laughs> always has to break break the good streak <laughs> these aren't bad they're fine they definitely taste like real mashed potatoes they don't taste like like potato flakes thank god i hate those so much like instantly i will not go to any restaurant that serves instant mashed potatoes unless it's fast food that's different <laughs> so these are okay i can feel the potato blobs in them like it's real the skin everything that's great but they don't have any flavor they don't even taste that buttery or that creamy, they just taste kind of watery. Just like really simple, plain salt and pepper mashed potatoes. And then the gravy on top just tastes like sweet milk. It doesn't really taste like a gravy. And maybe that's like a Texas gravy thing, like that's how it's supposed to taste. But to me, that doesn't taste delicious, I'm sorry. It just tastes like milk on top of mashed potatoes. So they're just not that good to me. I don't like them very much. I'm giving these a four out of 10. Okay. I will be seeing you later, sweetheart. Okay. Next up, dessert. Well, one of the desserts. Let's do the apple pie. Okay, so this is it. In a pool of ice cream. I don't mind that at all. It's fine with me. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's like a cinnamon syrupy sauce. Oh yeah. Drizzle that right on top. Okay. Let's try it. Oh no. She's frozen. <laughs> Elsa? This is giving Golden Corral. <laughs> I can tell this pie has been frozen and they defrosted it and sliced it up. It does not taste fresh. It does not taste good. The Apples actually taste too tart and not sweet um enough. The crust tastes like frostbitten a bit, <laughs> which is not a cute flavor profile. Um, and the texture is just icy. It's icy. <laughs> I paid $7 for an icy apple pie. Um, this is not good at all. It's actually trash. You would think that the frozen apple pie would, would keep the ice cream frozen from the, from the coldness, but it didn't. I'm giving this one a one out of 10. Wow, okay, so I got a little excited. I thought that every item was gonna slay me, but obviously that's not the case, even though some items have actually destroyed me, some have really disappointed me as well. Let's try another dessert, why not? Let's do the brownie. Okay, let's see this texture, guys. Okay, let's hope this is not frozen too. Oh, okay, it's very sticky. Okay, hello. I see chocolate chip pieces like within it. That's fun. Let's try it. Mm. Ah, what a roller coaster. This is delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Fantastic, genuinely. 
Mm. Oh, I can't stop. Help me. Okay. Oh my god. One more. Oh my god. Oh my god, so good. Oh. Okay. This is it. One more. I'm sorry. I guess so. God help me. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Wow, fantastic, never the same, amazing. First of all, the size is just great. It's a big, thick, filling brownie that can be shared with maybe two people, maybe three if you're dainty, but not, not for me, girly. I will share this with like a half of a person. I'll take two thirds, thank you. Mm. So the brownie itself has such a perfect flavor. It's perfectly balanced between rich and light. It's like some bites taste rich, some bites taste airy and refreshing almost. It's perfectly chocolatey too. And the texture is dense yet light. Like guys, I don't know how, but this brownie balances everything perfectly. And the chocolate chips add such a delicious bite. Oh my God. It's just so good and it goes so well with the melted ice cream. With the ice cream ocean. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm done. I'm giving the brownie a 10 out of 10. <laughs> so, so far the items are either amazing or horrible. Mostly amazing though, so that's good. Next up, let's try the Bloomin' Onion Cactus thingy. It's the Cactus Blossom, I think. Okay, so it's just like these little onion petals. And I have sauce for this. Oh my goodness, I have sauce. It's this orangey, like zesty stuff. It's like a zesty ranch maybe. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. That's it. Now Kim. One more. So, oh my God, amazing. The onions are somehow not soggy. They're still kind of crisp, which is fantastic. The breading also is not soggy whatsoever. It's still very crispy. And guys, Outback Steakhouse's um, Bloomin', Bloomin' Onion can get soggy very quickly. Like every time that I've gotten it takeout, it's always soggy. This is not soggy whatsoever. And the flavor is just so... So strong. So many seasonings in there. It's slightly spicy. Or that might be this... Ranch stuff, I don't know what this is. This is amazing too. It's just so good. Such a good appetizer. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm giving the blooming cactus <laughs> a 10 out of 10. Oh my God. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Next up, the pulled pork sandwich and the fries. Let's do the fries. These are them, steak fries. Let's first try by itself and then with this ranch stuff. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Another slight, another day. <laughs> so, mmm. They're so good, like fantastic. I love the cut. They're like nice and thick and just, they have such a nice like potato-y texture. <laughs> well, obviously, but it's like a pure potato texture. And they're like crispy on the outside and they taste 
lightly seasoned, but very salted. So it's perfectly salty, light seasoning, little background flavor, just simple yet sophisticated and <laughs> very, very delicious. Like so good. And with the ranch stuff, oh my God. Fantastic. I'm giving these fries a nine out of 10. Wow. Okay, so we have the pulled pork sandwich now. Now this is like a big blob of pulled pork. Let me try to kind of just like separate it. Okay. <laughs> Let's put some barbecue sauce. It's a lot. Ooh, smells very nice. Very sour. Vinegary. Okay. Now let's make a mess. Okay. Ooh, it's thick, guys. It has a lot of pork. That's so much. Look at that. Wow. Let's try it. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's so good. Mm. So, the pork, it's really simple, but it tastes good. It just tastes like good pork. <laughs> There's no like real like seasonings on it, just like some salt maybe. And it's pretty lean, which I like. I don't like blobs of fat in my um, pulled pork. So we love that. It's good, simple. But what brings it to the next level is the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is so good. Such a vinegary, tangy flavor, yet it's still sweet and smoky. And the bun is great too. It just all goes so well together. And listen, I am half Cuban. I know my pork. And this isn't super seasoned pork, but it's good pork. Okay, so good. I'm giving this pork mm, a 9 out of 10. Pulled pork sandwich. Mm -hmm. Another slay. What's happening, guys? Next up, let's try the cheesecake. Let's see how it tastes. Cheesecake is probably my favorite food. It's just a fun fact. Um, we have some berry sauce here. Very chunky. Okay. That's fine. We love a strawberry. Yeah, but it has to be like good cheesecake. You know? So let's see. Let's get a little bite here. Oh! Let's try it. Simple. The berries taste frozen. But that's okay, they taste good. Okay. It's fine. It's good. It tastes like any basic cheesecake out there. It's not mind blowing but it gets the job done. If you've had a simple cheesecake, then you've had this. Do you get me? The crust tastes fine. The cheesecake itself tastes fine and it is creamy. Um, it isn't too dense. It's sweet. It's cream cheesy, you know? Um, but overall, it is literally just pure, plain cheesecake. Nothing else to say, but it's good. So I'm giving this one a nice six out of 10. Could be much better, but it's good. It isn't like that apple pie, <laughs> but it's also not as good as the brownie. That was amazing. Okay, next up, let's try the country fried chicken and the rice, okay? So let's first do the rice. It has onions in it. Got some herbs in it too. What what is that? Parsley? It might be parsley. You know what? It's it's not bad. It's fine. It tastes like a fresh version of like a rice-aroni. Like a fancier version, you know? Or like a um Nors, Nors, you know, like the Nors noodles and like the rices and all that. It's like that, but just like 
fresh. So that's good. I can taste the fresh onions. Um, it has a nice, strong, kind of chicken bouillon flavor. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but it does have a lot of that flavor. So that's nice. The AC just turned on, so if it gets kind of loud, I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna give the rice, I think, a nice seven. It's good, honestly. Okay, so chicken, well, country fried chicken now. Um, I have the gravy over here. I have to pour it on. Even though it's very watery, take that out. Okay, well, it's not that watery. It's a little thick. So that's how it looks. Hello. Let's just. Uh, oh, it's pretty tough. Okay. Okay. We have a nice chunk here. That's how it looks. Let's try it. Okay. So the chicken is perfectly cooked, not too tough or anything like that, but it's nice and fully cooked, thank God. Um, the breading does get a bit soggy with the gravy, like it kind of falls off, but it isn't like bad or gross or anything like that. You know? The breading tastes good. It doesn't taste like fried chicken um, breading. It tastes like something more zesty. You know, now the gravy is not my favorite. Like I said, it tastes like a sweet milk with a hint of ham. So this is almost giving chicken cordon bleu, but with no Swiss. You get me? So it's good. I'm not slayed, but it's, it's good. It's strong. I am giving it, I think a nice 6.5 out of 10. Okay. Last but not least guys, we have the trio of appetizers, the fried pickles, the boneless um, buffalo wings and the rattlesnake bites, which I'm not Googling. Like I said, we'll just figure it out. Let's first try the fried pickles. Here it is. I love pickles. Mmm. Mmm. With the ranch. Mmm. Okay. They're a tad too salty, but otherwise they're fantastic. A lot of the times um, fried pickles can have like a corn mealy breading. It can be very like rough on the tongue. You know what I mean? It's just very like um, almost sandy. This is not. This is a nice thin batter. It's not really crispy anymore, but it's still very good. I can taste some almost Cajun flavors in there, kind of. Very nice, but like I said, it's a bit too salty. With the ranch, that helps kind of cool down the saltiness. Very nice. I'm giving the fried pickles a seven out of 10. Now it's time for the boneless buffalo wings. I love buffalo wings. That's different. Mm. Mm. They don't really taste like buffalo. They taste more like Nashville hot sauce. But I love Nashville hot sauce. I love it so much. So I'm fine with it. Mm. Very cayenne-y. Not too spicy. Very good. So the chicken quality is fine. Typical boneless chicken wing. The breading is nice and thin. And the hot sauce really is like Nashville hot sauce. It's legit. Nothing like buffalo. At least in my opinion but it's still fantastic. 
Mm. Very different from what I expected. I'm giving the boneless buffalo wings a nice 8 out of 10. Very good. Okay, last but not least, guys, we have the rattlesnake bites. I'm nervous. What is it? Let's see inside. Okay, I have no clue. What is that? What is that? Is it cornmeal? It smells like a um, tamale kind of. And, and like green chilies. Let's try it. Definitely cheesy. Green chili-ish. Very good, but weird texture. Like the texture is like a tamale, but it tastes like cheese. A cheese ollie? <laughs> Time to look it up. Let's see. Okay, so it says diced jalapenos and jack cheese lightly fried and served with ranch or Cajun sauce. Okay, so it's just cheese and jalapenos? I swear the texture is very doughy. Like guys, that looks doughy, right? See that? Anyways, it's good. I'm giving it a nice 7.5 out of 10. It's spicy, it's cheesy, the texture's kind of weird, but overall it's a good fried cheese ball with good pepper flavors, you know? So yay, guys, Texas Roadhouse, honestly, they have some really good items. I'm kind of gagged. It was a great time. There were more hits than misses, so that's always good. And I'm just very happy with it. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below, have you had Texas Roadhouse? And if you have, what are your thoughts? And if you haven't, which item looks the best to you? Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh. Thank you for watching, Queen. I'm so grateful that you watched me for all this time. You watched the whole video through. Like, what a patient icon. If you wanna watch my last video, do it. It's right there, click it. If you wanna subscribe, even better. You're a true stan. We love you.